Well ahead of the commonplace sonar echoes of submarines in the ocean's depths, Jules Verne, the visionary French novelist, conceived an electric-powered underwater vessel named the Nautilus in his 1870 novel, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Captain Nemo's iconic vessel stood decades ahead of its time, envisioning a world where submarines could glide silently without reliance on steam or manual propulsion. Today, the Nautilus's legacy persists as contemporary electric and even nuclear-powered submarines navigate the world's oceans with an understated grace. Verne's uncanny ability to anticipate technological progress underscores the profound impact fiction can wield in shaping our future. When humanity's grasp barely extended to flight, Jules Verne dreamed of reaching the moon. In From the Earth to the Moon, he envisioned a colossal cannon launching astronauts in a projectile towards our lunar neighbor. While actual lunar missions relied on rockets, not cannons, Verne's pioneering spirit encapsulated human exploration's essence. His prediction of space travel and collaborative international efforts remains a beacon of imagination and discovery. In an era where dynamite might have been the most formidable explosive, H.G. Wells envisaged the immense and devastating force of atomic energy. His 1914 novel, The World Set Free, introduced the concept of atomic bombs, capable of triggering continuous explosions. Tragically, this grim prediction turned reality during the 20th century with the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in World War II. Wells's haunting imagination not only showcased literature's potential for pushing boundaries, but also ignited ethical contemplations about scientific advancement. Imagine a time when the notion of instantly seeing someone across the globe was confined to science fiction. E. M. Forster, in his 1909 novella, The Machine Stops, painted a vivid depiction of a world dependent on the machine, a contraption enabling face-to-face -face communication across vast distances. Remarkably, this unfolded when landline telephones were not yet universally commonplace. Today, tools like Zoom, Skype, and FaceTime have realized Forster's vision, uniting individuals worldwide at the tap of a button. Forster's imaginative leap underscores the enduring power of human connection that transcends boundaries and eras. Ray Bradbury's dystopian world in Fahrenheit 451 mirrored our modern reality with uncanny precision. Among its eerie creations were seashell radios, diminutive devices feeding a continuous stream of media directly into people's ears. These closely foreshadow our contemporary earbuds and headphones, through which many immerse themselves in soundscapes, sometimes at the expense of their surroundings. Bradbury's foresight exceeded mere predictions about personal audio devices. He envisioned smart homes as well. Within the same novel, residences ceased being mere brick and mortar, transforming into interactive entities. Characters conversed with their homes, prompting adjustments in lighting or temperature. Sound familiar? Today, empowered by Amazon's Alexa and Google Home, Bradbury's vision has seamlessly woven into countless households, infusing homes with unprecedented responsiveness and personalized comfort. Bradbury's outlook on future entertainment extended beyond compact devices. He dreamt on a grand scale, imagining homes dominated by expansive, wall-sized television screens. In Fahrenheit 451, these screens were not passive displays, they engaged viewers, immersing them in soap operas as active participants. While today's wall-sized TVs might not be as interactive, the growing dimensions and clarity of our screens, from 4K to 8K resolutions, echo Bradbury's society captivated by grand visual spectacles. Imagine a world where lost limbs are not replaced with lifeless prosthetics, but with fully functional, even enhanced robotic limbs. Martin Caden's Cyborg explored this premise, later inspiring the popular TV series The Six Million Dollar Man. Steve Austin, an astronaut, gained bionic limbs bestowing superhuman abilities. Today, advancements in biomechanics and electronics have birthed prosthetics mirroring natural limb functions and even responding to the user's thoughts. Caden's fiction converges with reality as science surges to transcend physical limitations. George Orwell's 1984 remains among the most prescient works of the 20th century, envisioning a bleak realm of ceaseless surveillance. Big Brother loomed via telescreens, overseeing citizens and suppressing dissent. 
While our world isn't quite Orwell's dystopia, the proliferation of CCTV cameras, digital surveillance, and online data collection serves as a stark reminder of the novel's concerns about privacy, freedom, and individuality in an increasingly interconnected age. Cast your mind back to the 19th century, when cash reigned supreme and digital transactions seemed fantastical. Edward Bellamy's Looking Backward presented a future devoid of physical currency, replaced by a card drawing credit from a central bank. This revolutionary concept mirrors our modern reliance on credit and debit cards, underscoring how once unimaginable conveniences evolve into everyday norms. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these incredible facts, remember to like this video and subscribe to Psy Pulsar for more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious and see you soon.